Hi everyone, it's Crafty Kara here. Um, I want to thank you for watching. This is just a quick update, and I I know this is a new angle of just giving this a try. Um, hopefully this works out for my benefit and yours. Um, so you're looking at Pinocchio, and I know I've already shown you this in my last video, but I wanted to show you what I've kind of what I've done or how I've accomplished some things. So this is the area I've been stitching on, and this is what I showed you the last time because I. I may have only worked on it maybe once since I've last talked to you. Um, but I kind of wanted to know one day when I wasn't in, in the mood to stitch how much I've accomplished on this uh, in the short time. I think I moved onto this page about the 6th of this month or in September. <laughs> and like I, I, I'm a dork for numbers. So this is what my, um, what my page looks like in the 10 by 10 blocks. Um, and what's left to be stitched in these 10 by 10 blocks. And these black ones are squares that are completely filled in, like here. And then, you know, like this block only has five stitches left and so on. And so, <laughs> I'm a dork. Um, for I have 5,254 stitches in this page to be stitched here. And I have 2,091 and a half to complete, which means I am 60% done. And only working on this See, if I changed about here, about seven to eight days of work on this, when I my goal was to have one of these done each month. So to be halfway done within a week-ish time means I should be able to complete these in about two to three weeks if I were to work on it straight through. So it is really encouraging. I just thought I'd share that. Um, and how much of a dork for numbers I am. <laughs> But since I've last talked to you, you see I have a new project on there. Is the a Alexandra Adeline Needleworks Pumpkin. It was in the... The October... Oh, the glare there. October 2014, uh, just cross-stitch. It's got this on the cover. Really, really pretty. It's on the inside. I made a working copy. Um, here's Fall Pumpkin. Sorry. Um, and I really like this. I thought it'd be fun to stitch, and I don't have anything for fall. At all. Not fall at all. Um, but it's charted for 14 counts, so it's a 12 by 12, and I decided to go with an 18 count. There's Ada here. Let me get it open. Sorry, shaking the camera. And this is what we got. I think it looks really good. However, the the contrast between the orange and this reddish orange is a lot more than I was anticipating. Because I, I don't know how it looks to you guys, but in person, this is like a neon orange. I love this gold color. It's definitely a fall gold. Let's see if I can show you a little bit. But... It feels like they should be a little bit closer in color, but um, I'm going to go ahead and stitch it up and see, because up here this doesn't look so bad, and at first I thought this looks really red, but this doesn't necessarily look bad there. I think it's the contrast of this orange next to it, though I don't want to take it out. I will consider once I'm done if I should change this. I don't know. It's a lot of work, even though, but we'll see. But that's only stitching on it for about the last five or six days. Um, but that was for the Stitch Manias. Oh, it was the color something of the month, which is the 24th, and that was orange. So I thought that was an, a good excuse to start something since I'm doing my huge October Sal um, plans. So I've had this pattern for a while, the Little House Needleworks Peter Peter pumpkin eater. How adorable is that with the bunny? Um, I got this on clearance and I decided it's fall and I want to stitch this if I can. It's not that big. It's only seventy-three stitches square. So I got the colors that I had requested which is Classic Colorworks Pumpkin Harvest. 
So you can see there's a slight variation in there. Classic Color Works Bean Sprout. You can see a little variation there. Classic Color Works Tiny Vine. And this is just a lighter green. And then this is Weak Dye Works um, Swiss Chocolate. And then you can see the variation in that for the bunny in some of the words. Uh, so I really like the way those colors turn out. And I can use this for other things because it won't use everything. While I was at my local Native workshop, I picked up a new pattern. The French Collection the Rabbit. I thought this was cute. I've seen it so many times. But I love the little motifs that are in there. And this is really tiny too. Oh, 52 by 41. I think it would be cute as a little ornament. So I bought that. Um, now something else that I worked on. Um, you, I've shown this to you before but I really try to update it. Is my, my whip accountability board here. And I know I've said it before, but I got the idea from Nordly. I'm not sure if she still makes videos. And I apologize, I'm just getting something out. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. And I used dry erase tape and old magnets on my refrigerator. But those weren't sticking really well, so what I've done... I went to the store and I bought the adhesive magnet sheet, which this I can just buy at Walmart. And it comes with two sheets, good for photos and things like that. Comes like this. And forgive me, I'm gonna grab something else. I'm doing this video on the fly here. And I had the white dry erase tape, but I also found this a while back. It's a nice, I don't know, I want to call it like a 50s teal dry erase tape. And what I've done to make it hopefully as easy as possible is that this is the width of the tape, which is 48 uh, millimeters. And I've just taken my cutting board and cut this and 48 millimeters and this is also 5 inches wide so I would cut off a piece of 5 inches here take off the adhesive and lay it down on there and then I just slice it again on my cutting board to make all these pieces and it was so easy and this looks so much neater than what I had before you can use dry erase marker on here but I've also used permanent marker because this won't come off now but I can easily take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and that will just come clean. And if it doesn't, I've got more dry erase tape. So again, my UFOs, which I plan on getting back with. But this is what I've been currently working on, as you've recently seen. And these are all my ready to starts um, that are kitted with fabric and thread and ready to go. Uh, most of these are the October sows from about here down. So a lot of these will be moved over to a current whip and hopefully finishes which I'll have over here. So like when I start date and then an end date and it gives me a nice visual of what I have. I mean this is helping too but this is just what you're currently working on so I want to make sure I keep track of what is sitting up there in UFOs um, so I have I have some plans for next year to hopefully take care of that. But that's something I was working on to just kind of clean up and make look a little nicer. Um, also my plans for next year, I mean I'll get into this more detail, but I plan on to do more from the magazines that I have subscribed to. I have all these and I think I've only stitched one thing out of a magazine that was a card from my mother in February. So... Yeah, I gotta do more from those, otherwise they're really not serving any purpose other than just being looked at. So but this is just a, a short video to um I guess last 
bit before I start my October sows. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this new type of video because I know you guys have seen it from others, but this is the first time I've worked something up like this in order to um, show things this way. But I think it would be easier and faster for me to do so instead of sitting in front of the camera all the time where I get distracted very easily. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I have recently reached a thousand subscribers. Yay! I am really excited. I mean, it's just it's it's just a number, but you know, to to break it where it doesn't no, no longer says a number, it just says 1K. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I know there's people who have far more subscribers, and it's not that big of a deal. But it just it, to hit that milestone just made me pretty happy. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.